the game will dictate the way we move um, our pieces and our players. And um, you know, it's a three-two game. So um, you know, we we have first and third when we run for JD. We put a hit and run on, and we have men first and third with JD. We don't we can't do that. So um, for Porcello, <clears throat> we felt that that was a bad matchup for us. We went to Eddie, and we knew that we we had Nate tonight, and uh, it was a great game. To, uh, how you say it, how you spell that T T B A or <laughs> yeah. T B A. Other questions? Uh Jason in the second row here. Uh wh what was your view of the Kinsler play and do you think he should have held on to that ball? Oh, I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while. It seems like he, he kinda like was a little bit off balance when he cut it and uh you know it's one of the best defensive second basemen in the big league, so I mean he probably he's been making that play for a while and just threw it away. Other questions? Butch, we'll get you the microphone. Can you just talk about Eduardo Nunez's night? <laughs> it was all over the place, huh? I mean, it was. have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, normally <clears throat> with what happened to him, he'd be out of a game like that. Right? Well, he um, actually after the, the dirt ball, when, uh, when the catcher ran over him, you know, he felt he was in bad shape. But <laughs> like I told him, He's like, I'm not coming out. I said, well, you can't come out. <laughs> we have no more players. <laughs> so, uh, but a good effort. Um, you know, it sucks because then, you know, he's a first. Sandy hit that double down the line, can't score. And the fly ball, um, um, he can't slow down, so he goes in, into the seats. So it was, uh, it was a tough one for him, but he gave us, a, um, he gave us a great effort. You know, he actually put a good game, but, uh, you know, he was limping all over the place, and uh, at the end, you know, he can't slow down in one. He can't score from first. I th I actually, I thought that uh, Christian's bunt was a good one. Um, I know he made a nice play, but if he's okay, you know, he gets to third. So it is what it is, you know. There's a lot of guys uh, a little banged up, but they grind it out. Uh, I just told them, you know, like, this is why I signed sign for, you know, that effort from pitch one all the way to the end. But sign me in. This is cool. Uh, Sean, the third row. Alex, losing a World Series game is tough. Losing one in 18 innings is tougher. But when you you know go all in, as you like to say here, and use Nate for as long as you did, how, how crushing a loss is this? Given you know the swing that was uh, at stake there, and, and your three outs in the way from the 13th from being successful with going all in. Yeah, not at all. It's not crushing at all. Um, I just talked to them. I said how I told them how proud I am. Um, you know, the, the effort was amazing. That was a great baseball game. I don't know, seven hour, whatever it was. You know. Uh, Probably people back home are waking up right now to the end. Uh, <laughs> but um, it's, it's, it's probably one of the best, if not the best game I, I've ever been part of. Uh, the effort from both sides. You know, what Nate did tonight, that was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, we kept talking to him. He's like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So um, we, we'll map it out tomorrow. Uh, there's a few guys that are lining up in my office to, to start the game tomorrow. So. Um, We'll, we'll decide what we do, and uh, we'll be fine. Uh, Michael? Uh, I was going to ask about Nathan, and how much longer could you have gone with him? And um, That was oh. it. That was, the last, that, that was the last inning right there. Um, you know, the, when he came in, I asked him, how you feel? He's like, let me finish it. You know, I'm like, okay, you got uh, – I don't know if I told him you got one more, but uh, it was getting to the point that Drew was up already. Uh, actually, Drew was going to hit in, in, in the top of the next inning whatever it was. So um, you know, the stuff was still good. The last out, Turner, you know, he, that was that was good. Um, and then, you know, Muncy put a good swing on it and hit out the ball. So. Is, is he surprising you at all now? I mean, that's pretty unusual to keep his velocity and everything, his movement, uh, so. Yeah, he, uh, he's putting everything together. Uh, the pitch mix, uh, good breaking balls, good cutters, fastballs. Um, you almost have to be perfect in, in that situation. And uh, actually, no, he was perfect. He just, you know, we didn't make one play, and then they put a good swing on it. But he, I mean, effort-wise, I mean, I don't know, World Series talk, whatever, that was one of the best performances probably in the history of the World Series. And right up front here in the first row. Alex, what was your impression of Walker Bueller, and what did he show you different from what you've seen from other pitchers this year? 
I mean, his stuff is, is amazing. He made some adjustments. We were putting good at-bats early on. He was throwing the four-seamer, and all of a sudden he started throwing cutters and change-ups, and he was able to keep us off balance. But uh, you know, um, for him to go seven in this stage, um, they needed it, and he did an outstanding job. Uh, Ken standing in the back left. Alex, you said guys were lining up outside your office to pitch tomorrow. I'm wondering the chances of Sale being part of the mix. Um, he talked about it actually before the game, so um, we'll, we'll sit down now and uh, we'll go over it and uh, we'll decide. Somebody will start, most likely a lefty. <laughs> uh, Ian right here and then Heidi. Alex, how tough was the balancing act? You know, obviously trying to win the game tonight, thinking about the rest of the series with bringing in Nate in a, the tie game there. No, when, when he warmed up twice, we, we were talking about it. We're like, well, you know, we, we got David. We knew that we were going to be okay with him. Um, and we had Craig, obviously, knowing that Nate was going to be available. And uh, he got up a few times, and that's when I decided, well, if he, if he warm up twice, we should just let him go because he's not going to start tomorrow. And uh, we just kept going and going. The stuff was great. So, I mean, at the end, you know, <laughs> he, it's like a, like a regular start for him. We'll see where he's at in the next few days and, and see when, when we're going to use him. Also, your, your top four spots in the order, uh, 0 for 28 tonight. You know, did you see anything with them or just the way they were being pitched? or you know, How did you look at that? Uh, just a bad night. Um, you know, um, we had some situations that we um, we, sh we, we could have put them away, and, and we didn't. And uh, at the end, we paid the price. We'll finish up with Heidi in the back. How much can a, a game like this, a night like this, where so many guys get beat up, an over seven hour game, every single pitcher used except for Drew, how much can that carry over to tomorrow? We'll find out tomorrow.